Hi, I'm Dave Balney, and the system you're looking at is TASL. Um, so if you notice, um, what we're going to talk about in this video is how to break Fassel. So here you can see I'm sitting in front of a window, so I've got a very bright background and a dark face, and as you can see, the eye detector and the face detector is having problems. So one of the things you can do to uh, fix this issue if you come across it is make sure that the lighting is frontal um, and that your camera is about eye level. So what I'm going to do now is move the laptop. <coughs> so I've rotated the laptop about 180 degrees. So now the uh, window is almost directly in front of me. Most of the lighting is directly on my face, and as you can see, the face detector and the eye detector is doing a lot better. Um, this is my advisor, Roth's Beverage. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to enroll some faces. Um, one thing that we found with enrolling faces is that if you move around, try different expressions as you enroll, the system gets more views of your face and it learns a better decision boundary. Um, so basically it can learn to uh, detect or label uh, your face better by understanding multiple views of it. So Ross is going to do the same sort of thing. Okay, now we're going to train the labeler. All right, and so as you can see, the FASL now, know, FASL now knows the difference between Dave and Ross. Um, but one thing you can do with this live video is you get almost instantaneous feedback. So if I try different poses, I um, can probably find... Yeah, I think I am now consistently Dave, Dave. Yeah, so... Russ has found that if he looks down a little bit, he's uh, labeled Dave. So what we're going to do to correct this problem is actually enroll more views of Ross, so it understands that when Ross is looking down, uh, he's still Ross and not Dave. So I click to enroll, and Ross holds that pose. And so now we've added uh, 64 images of Ross looking down. And if we train the labeler again, the system will hopefully, hopefully do a better job of, uh, of telling the difference between Ross and Dave. So now if I look down the way I did before, it's doing a pretty good job of keeping me as Ross, which it did not before. Uh, but now if I look down, I look like Ross. So you know we can do the same thing. Enroll more images of me looking down. Dave, notice that you never move your head outside of that main detection box. It's an important point. You can move around, but you can't move across the image. Um, yeah, that's because it uses that box to figure out, um, to kind of track the face. So it knows that any faces in that window um, are of the same person. You also notice that um, when you're enrolling, it'll uh, put a red X through other people in the video, which indicates that those people aren't being enrolled. Okay, so now I can look down and I'm Dave. Ross can look down and be Ross. So you know if you repeat this process uh, three or four times you can get a uh, you can get a labeler that's almost impossible to mess up. So is that it? Are there any other tips? I think you've covered the lighting and I think you've covered the adding more images of a person in the way that the system is having right. trouble with them. And also be sure to move around when you enroll. So yep. That's Fessel. Hope you enjoy it.